Hey guys, what's up? It's Janie and welcome back to my channel. Hi everyone, how's it going? I hope everyone's having a great weekend so far. It is currently raining, so me and Kermange have been having a cozy day in. Lately, I've been watching a lot of video game development videos on YouTube, on TikTok, so I thought it'd be a fun idea for us to look at what video games are gonna be releasing this year in 2024. Without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, we're loaded into Steam. I'm gonna go to my wish list. There are a couple of games that I have in here that are gonna be released this year. I guess we'll just kind of start at the top. This one is Everhome. Let's go ahead and read this little description of what Everhome is. Lily was spirited away to a mysterious island. As her memories fade, everyone seems to know her and her quest for her missing sister. It's time to establish a homestead, meet your friendly Everfolks, then learn their secrets and solve the mystery of Everhome in this open-minded, minimalist RPG. Let's go ahead and watch the trailer for this. The art style looks so cute. I love it. It's not necessarily Stardew. I feel like it's a little bit more polished in that sense. Looks like there's gonna be some type of farming, mining, going into dungeons, the usual, the usual stuff. The thing that I'm really excited about this game is actually the story that's gonna go along with it, going into a whole new town. Typically the player doesn't know like what's going on, but it seems like you're actually gonna be solving a mystery. Like you have a missing sister, you don't know where she is, you don't know what happened, you have like amnesia. There's just something really exciting about this game that I'm really looking forward to. Looking through the Steam, it doesn't say a specific date, but it is something that we can anticipate this upcoming year. Let's go ahead and Google it too, just to see if there's any tweets. As I'm looking on Google, it looks like a demo is out. Jubilee Whispers posted two days ago, maybe a demo version of her gameplay for it. Someone made a Reddit thread about why people aren't talking about Everhome as much as they probably should be because it does look freaking cute. Here's their official website, uh, chonkyloaf.com. Maybe they have a roadmap in telling us where they currently are in the development, but I don't I don't see a button for that. Okay, Steam DB. It looks like that the demo released in September. Okay, yeah, September 1st, 2023, seven months ago. Looking at their Twitter, it looks like they don't have any posts right now about it. I feel like this game is very incognito and once it comes out, it's gonna blow up. That's my opinion. Look at how cute this interior design is. I love this, the detail. Look at that bookcase. It's like at a slant too and it kind of works with the wall. And it's like lofted, that's so cute. My Potato Games posted some really cute screenshots of this game. It looks like in this one picture, maybe there's some type of like elixir potion making element to the game. I'm assuming these are like not beehives, maybe they're like birdhouses and you could like get stuff from birds. I don't know. Again, I'm really excited about this game. It looks really cute. I'm excited for the mystery element of it and trying to figure out what the story is. On to the next game, Pixel Shire. Build the town of Pixelshire and grow your community in a unique RPG sandbox which mixes life sim elements with town building, exploration, and combat. Express yourself by planning the town to your liking, master trades, get to know your neighbors, and explore the continent of Arcadia. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I just love RPG games. I love simulation games. I love decorating. That is my stuff. Let's go ahead and look at the trailer that they have posted also. Welcome to Arcadia. It's just so cute. Oh, <gasps> you can tear. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me pause this real quick. It looks like you can terraform, and I, I have yet to play another game that allows me to terraform other than Animal Crossing. I haven't played Minecraft. People have told me that I might like Minecraft, and I just haven't gone around to doing it yet, but this whole terraforming element makes me very excited. I'm curious if terraforming is something that's gonna have to be unlocked at the very end, similarly to Animal Crossing and New Horizons. It takes you forever to be able to t terraform. I've played through Animal Crossing twice. Uh, it, it took a lot of time. Oh, it's just so cute. Oh, 
All the different biomes of islands. Oh my gosh. Oh, and you can play with other... I wonder if those are NPCs. Hold on. I wonder if those NPCs actually can follow you and like help you gather resources. That would be quite helpful. Or who knows, maybe it's actually going to be a multiplayer game also. Great element. Their fishing looks interesting too. Wait. Huh. Oh my gosh, not a goblin. I love combating in the mines. I just love it. Oh, that's so cute. Unlike Everhome, I feel like this is kind of just be more of like a free open world game. I'm sure there's going to be quests and probably a some type of a storyline to follow. Um, but this seems like a little bit more of an open world concept. You can just do whatever you want. Let's see. Yep. There we go. Terraforming. So it says right here that you can gather resources, but not alone. This might answer my question if it's going to be like with NPCs that you can gather resources with or if it's just like a multiplayer thing. But it says that these friends can become your allies, accompanying you on adventures and leading a helping hand in gathering resources and completing tasks. Thanks to the follow me feature. That's pretty great. They have yet to announce an official release date, but maybe we could find some answers on Google. It says that their initial release date was in 2023? Hold up, is this game out? They released this announcement in November of last year uh, regarding Pixelshire, and it says we, let's see, let's see. We have an important update regarding the release of Pixelshire. After careful consideration, we decided not to release Pixel Shire and early access this year. Instead, the game will launch straight into version 1.0 in 2024. Okay, this decision made in the best interest of our players and the game's quality ensures Pixel Shire, Pixel Shire is released in its most polished form. We're actively working on exciting new features to enhance your gaming experience and exceed your expectations. It looks like that they're still under development. I can say I can appreciate that they're taking their time with the release of this just so that they can work out their bugs, make sure it's like all that they ever wanted it to be. They're very active on their Twitter. They posted something 17 hours ago. Oh yeah, they're really, they're really active on here. Hopefully we'll get an announcement soon of when the release day is gonna be, but in the meantime, you guys should definitely add this game to your wish list. I did already. The next game on my wish list is one that I actually have been actively just following everywhere. Chef RPG. I feel like a lot of people have been talking about this game in the recent months. Craft your culinary adventure in a beautiful pixel art world. Manage your restaurants, forage and hunt for ingredients, befriend locals and grow your culinary empire. What kind of chef will you be? Just look at this style of art. It's crazy. Like it's definite. You could tell that it's pixel art, but it kind of reminds me of Everhome where it's just a little bit more sleek. Oh my gosh. And it looks so good. Uh, I've been keeping up with, I'll have to show, I'll show you guys his YouTube in a second of the developer and the creator of this game. But one really cool thing that he shows in his videos is that like these lights on signs will flicker and they're like animated. It's not just a still image pretty cool. It's just like a nice little detail that really immerses you into the world. I know that there's going to be a lot of NPCs to interact with at this too. And of course, like because it's called Chef RPG, you actually run your own restaurant. The creator's name is Noah, but on YouTube, he goes by Pixel Architect, which is very fitting for him because he actually started off with his career at being an architect and then he had a curiosity in game development. So he's been making this game. This last week, he actually announced that he's going to incorporate critics that come into your restaurant too and events that you can host with it like some, you host some type of a party i like the concept that you have to forage for your own ingredients also it kind of forces you to you know go run around you're not locked up inside of the restaurant for the whole time it looks so good oh my gosh Look at how many NPCs there are that you can interact with. Fishing, you can go fishing. I wonder if you, here I'm gonna, I wonder if the whole hunting aspect of it to get your ingredients is kind of like replacing going into dungeons and mining and caves. So 
excited for this game. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the artwork of the characters when you talk to them. That is just crazy. Here's Pixel Architect's YouTube channel. I've been following this guy's dev vlogs for the last month, I want to say, and they're just so entertaining and just so interesting. He really takes into account what the people are saying and like their critiques and like ways that he can prove. And you can see those changes that he makes on his dev vlogs. It's really cool. Let's check out his Twitter. I want to say that he's a little bit more active on his YouTube than he is on his Twitter, but honestly, like you guys should check out his YouTube. It's a place to be for sure. I'm having my finger cross that the beta will be released on Mac. Hopefully, I, I don't have my hopes up completely, but this is a game that I'm super, super excited for. And I hope you guys are excited about it too. Go ahead and check it out and at, hopefully add it to your wish list. The next game that I have on my wish list is actually not necessarily an RPG and it's called Tiny Glade. It's more of a sandbox version game where you could just kind of let your creativity out and just build buildings and create environments. It says, Tiny Glade is a small relaxing game about doodling castles. Explore gridless building chemistry and watch the game carefully assemble every brick, pebble, and plank. There's no management, combat, or wrong answers. Just kick back and turn forgotten meadows into lovable dioramas. The gridless part, by the way, I know that in Sims, like, you can go, like, work your way around it by holding down option, but I think having that gridless effect built into the game will probably work a little bit more seamlessly. Just look at how beautiful this is. Stunning. The planned release date for this game is hinted to be in quarter three of this year, so it kind of gives us a good gauge of when it's going to be released. It looks like in this video, like they'll drag the dirt onto the wall, it makes a door, and then if you drag it to the sides, it'll create arches and walkways for you. If you are more into just casual zoning out games where you just don't really have to think about anything, you could just let your mind go wild, I would suggest adding Tiny Clay to your wish list. The next game that's on my wish list is Sugar Dew Island. In this cozy farming game, you have to run your own farm shop. Take care of your animals and your farm, sell your goods to the cute forest folk, upgrade the island, and fulfill small orders from the Harmony Tree to fill the island with life again. Just looking at these pictures alone, it really reminds me of how Fay Farm looks. In my 2023 review video, I actually talked about my experience with playing Fae Farm and it wasn't the, my favorite. I have high hopes I'll actually like this game more than I'll like Fae Farm. It just looks so stinking cute. It looks so good. Yeah. And the little hedgehogs. <laughs> this is, okay, it's... Something that I'm noticing right now is that they're actually switching from the gameplay animation to an anime style cutscene. I'm curious if when you're progressing through the game and you actually have cutscenes, if it's gonna switch to this art style. And I, I hope they do, it looks good, it looks so good. And look at the little shop that you can run. It's so cute. And the little characters, look at the little like gnome looking guy and the little like fern bush looking guy. Huh? Yeah. Follow us now on Kickstarter. Let's, we can go ahead and take a look at that in a second. Um, it looks like their planned release date is gonna be in quarter two. So that's actually coming up because uh, by the time you guys are watching, this is gonna be March 31st. So April 1st is when we're rolling into quarter two. However, because it does only say Q2, it could be from April, May, or June, anywhere in that time, but it will be soon. I wonder if you're gonna be able to decorate inside of your farm shop and really be able to customize it, move some things around. Resource gathering, you can have animals, have a bond with them, pet companions. Harmony tree quest, fulfill orders to heal the harmony tree and upgrade the small island. Sick. Checking out their Kickstarter now, it looks like that they've exceeded their goal with pledges, that's so awesome. Setting and story. Imagine waking up on a deserted island after a surprising storm and shipwreck. As the protagonist of our story, you find yourself in the heart of Sugardew Island, a place where humans, animals, and the mystical forest folks once lived in perfect harmony. However, the balance was shattered when greed drove humans to attempt to fell, fall? 
fell the sacred harmony tree. The island plunged into chaos and the forest folks along with the animals fled and leaving Sugardew Island in ruins. And I think that's where we come in to try to fix everything up. If you guys are interested in seeing the development and keeping tabs with what's going on with Sugardew Island, I'll go ahead and have their Kickstarter linked in the bio along with all the other games that I have been talking about. All of the links to support or to just go check out will be down below. The next game that I'm going to be talking about is a game that I actually came across on TikTok. It's this couple who both quit their jobs to develop Loftia. Let's go ahead and watch the trailer. The whole concept behind this game is like very eco-friendly. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, wait, that was a nice detail. Hold on, pausing it super quick. That was a nice detail. It looks like you could sprint in the game. We love when you could sprint in a game. And you could just grow your own plants. Very sustainable. This game is just a vibe. You can go and hang out with friends. Environmental studies. Wait, let's pause this super quick also. It shows you like a full calendar of what's going on in the year. I wonder if like, wow, the full year you actually like live out instead of like having it only be 28 days in a season and then you have four seasons. Um, I wonder if you actually like live through 365 days in this game. That'd be pretty interesting. That is just so beautiful. I'm really excited about this game. I have their Kickstarter pulled up right now and it looks like that they're actually gonna go into alpha. There was a pre-order that you could do for alpha access keys. So it's almost it's almost done de being developed. I think their goal is to have it done by early 2025. And it looks like alpha is gonna be available for Mac, direct download and Steam and of course PC. Um, early access will be on all platforms, including Nintendo Switch. That is great. Although Loftia isn't going to be coming out officially in 2024, at least they're coming out with the alpha, and I'm excited to just get my hands on it. I think it's a really unique and interesting take on cozy gaming. I've, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before, where it's just all based off of sustainability and like being environmentally conscious, and that that's just like the whole game. I'm super excited about the video games that are going to be releasing this year. I hope the games that I'm showing pique your guys' interest as I am an avid cozy gamer. I know you guys are an avid cozy gamer too. All of the games that I just mentioned are going to be linked down in the bio for you guys to check out. I work in the video game industry, specifically on AAA video games. However, we are a small team at our studio, so when I talk about these other small indie games, I can't help but appreciate them doing really big things. Leave down in the comments what games you guys are looking forward to releasing this year. I would love to explore and just add more things to my wish list. I can never have enough games on there. As always guys, thank you so much for all the love and support on my videos. I really appreciate it as I've been trying to grow my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.